this is the gracious mercy of god that he has called each one of us today that we could be able to learn the secret of listening to the voice of god and live by the power and glory of god praise the lord this is a rare opportunity god gives to those who love him and today he has called each one of us because of his love for us god's gift of salvation for all of us is normal human beings can hear the voice of the living god praise the lord hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. the lord the mighty god who spoke to our elders to our prophets to our priests to our kings in the later times he has spoken to us through his son jesus christ and blessed is the man who can train his mind his heart and his whole being to listen to his voice instead of throwing away our precious life blindly to anything and everything the word of god says we can hear the voice of god we can make our own life a meaningful life filled with the power and glory of the holy spirit the greatest thing in the world is to listen to the voice of the master if we don't listen to the voice of the master the noises that is surrounding you the pain the noise of pain the noise of issues the noise of your needs the noise of your hurts and wounds will drown the voice of god you will be killed and led astray by the noises of this world ask the lord lord even the worst marital problems can be solved if we hear your voice which is the direction for our life lord give me the determination give me the focus give me the desire to hear your voice to understand the direction that you give it to us the divine fixed deposit dft i need in my life to hear your voice today if i have to listen to your voice i need to determine myself let anything happen i will listen to the voice of my god it is this determination will lead me to focus myself into the lord in the book of joshua chapter 24 verse 15 joshua said i and my family let anything happens we will serve the lord with the determination when he went the lord let joshua when we fix our eyes on the lord all that disturbance will move away when we fix on our god when we fix to hear his voice we can hear him in the stillness of that yes yes he will give you the direction for our life amen ask the lord lord today bless me that i may hear your voice amen you every minute you are talking to me but it is like the station that i need i need to tune i need to tune my station to get the exact transmission master help me today through the life of determination through the life of focus through the life of longing to hear the direction from your life let me hear your voice o lord amen o oh, sabna you are born in the clan of david the lord made you the king to understand the ways of god to hear the voice of god but 
you became a selfish man you forgot your god and you are trying to live for yourself you are built a sculpture you are built places of death for you yes you have built the tombs for your own he says you have carved the tomb for yourself in a rock indeed the lord threw you away violently oh mighty man god made you a mighty man verse 17 he made you a mighty man but because you didn't hear the voice of god you only heard your desire you will be thrown violently and your servant eliakim the son of hilkia he will become the king he will take your position and he will be the father to the inhabitants in jerusalem and he will take care of the house of juda god is looking for his people who can listen to the voice of god whether you can listen to the voice of god or not it is that who is going to decide and determine your life so determine to hear the voice of god focus your mind to listen to the voice of god and understand the direction of the voice of god ask the lord for these three gifts today determine let anything happen i will listen to the voice of god determine to listen to the voice of god focus your mind on the voice of god third understand the direction the lord gives you from the voice of god it is divine fd it is divine great treasure for you the lord wants to give it to you surrender your life to him the word of god today clearly teaches us roman chapter 11 verse 36 it is for him and it is through him it is to him every human being is created and the purpose of our life is to bring glory to him this is the voice of god if we listen to the voice of god we will understand the family he gave you the beauty he gave you the education he gave you the money he gave you the talents he gave you everything is to bring glory and honor to god through you the lord says in verse 36 everything everyone god is created to bring glory to him but in verse 34 with great pain he cries to us for who has known the mind of the lord who has taken the determination my one life i want to hear the voice of god my mind is like a monkey who has focused the time as the word of god say be still and know that i am your god who has trained their mind to focus on god they are throwing away their lives to anything and everything and anything and everything catches hold of them that's why st paul says who has understood the mind of god who has become his counselor who is the one who talks to god who is the one ask the counsel of the lord lord how to live where to go who has to whom he has become the counselor everyone is trying to live for themselves whatever they think right they are doing and they are perishing god is crying who has understood the mind of god who has made the lord as their counselor and who is counseling god that is another stage who relates with god and tells him lord can i do like this lord why can't we do like this 